Dream? I'm okay. I have Gaia. This arm. I can control it. Who's that? It's me. You were shouting. Are you okay? It's Zuma. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I I'm fine. I told you last night that we're going to plan our next move today. Huh? Yeah? You did? Yes. Sayaka and her father are going to help us too, okay? So come on, we need you. You're just a school kid, but you survived Yokohama. You sure you need me? Yes. We need input from anyone who's fought the Devil Golems. You need my arm, right? Huh? You don't need me. You want a kick? Sorry. At first, I suppose, I thought I'd use you like that, but not anymore. I want to help you. I want to support you, okay? Okay. That's settled then. Everyone's waiting. Come to the tea room. So, let's get started. Very well. First, let's discuss how to fight the Queen of Ice. But that is far too dangerous, Father. What? You girl dare to question me? If we draw her out like that, we could face another Yokohama. But taking the fight into her territory is just as dangerous. Using as much force as possible is the only way to defeat such a powerful foe. But we can't afford to involve innocence in such a struggle. We don't even know where she is hiding. My way is far more practical. But father... Listen, girl. Family shouldn't argue like this. Atsuma, please, stay out of this. This is Rygar's fault. You did what you were told before, girl. Now look at you. This has nothing to do with Rygar. I have decided to be more true to myself, that's all. Anyway, right. So aside from where to fight her, you both pretty much agree on how to fight, correct? Well, yes. The highly trained troops of Yokohama, and then the brave knights of London. Neither of those powerful forces could defeat the Queen of Ice. Taking that into consideration, defeating her straight out seems like an impossible task. The only way to stop her is to destroy her magic core. When you say destroy her magic core, you mean toy it, right? Correct, Atsuma. Although I hate to say this to one who saved my life. Killing Toya is the only way to save the world. The only way to save mankind. But Toya is being controlled by her. Are you sure about that? What? This Toya. We cannot know for sure what he is thinking. And even if he is being controlled, there may be no other way but to end his life. The life of one for the life of many. We have no choice. No! We do. I have learned the art of Gaia. If I use that, maybe I can save Toya and defeat the Queen of Ice. The fate of the world hangs on that, maybe. You succeeded against the Emperor of Fire, yes. But he was not totally bonded with the Magikor when you did so. He was also weak after fighting the Queen of Ice. And you had the power of Lady Karine on your side. One might almost call it luck. I hear that you lost control of your arm against the London city forces. Isn't that true? What if that were to happen again? The fate of the world rests on all of this. Mistakes cannot be made. Yes, that happened. But Atsuma has changed since then. I am not attacking him. Do not get me wrong. But too much rests on this. This boy, Toya. Is his life worth risking the lives of everyone here? I can't... 
But make a decision like that. Lady Karin, you have already lost your father to the Queen of Ice. Toya is with her. The one who did this terrible thing. Perhaps this colors your feelings toward him. I... Lady Karin, I know you were worried about Asuma, but allow me to say this. Rude though it may sound, as the leader of London City, you must not let personal feelings cloud your judgment. But... I... I'm... Just going to get a breath of fresh air. Is Toya worth risking everyone's life for? I don't know. But he is worth risking my life. Ah, what would Toya want? I don't know. Don't you think? It's hard to believe he really doesn't understand. He's merely his arm's puppet. <laughs> Next, it will be my turn. Then at last, the ancient command shall be unleashed. It has taken so long and cost so much with the Golem War. But in the end, all of that is meaningless. You understand why, don't you, Toya? You are coming with me to a new and yet familiar world. How long do you intend to maintain this silence? Surly child. Anyway, I noticed something a while ago. A mouse seems to have found its way into my beautiful castle. Mousy, mousy, no need to be afraid. Come on out. You want to talk with Toya, don't you? Come out then, or you'll die. <laughs> ah, a bigger mouse than I expected. I'm taking Toya. <laughs> a mouse with a sense of humor. Why should I let you take him? I'll give you something in return, of course. This, your original magic core. Oh, you have that old thing, do you? I was wondering where it was. I thought that baddie professor had hidden it away somewhere. Mice are good at sniffing things out, aren't they? I'll exchange this for Toya, okay? No. What? This darn boy is my partner now. A devil golem and a magic core cannot easily be separated once linked. Just like lovers. And even if I weren't bonded with Toya, I wouldn't touch that ugly stand-in. So, no. No deal. Now then, Mousy. Time. <laughs> Stop. Stop this, Queen. Toya, you've recovered. Queen, do not harm this one. Well, if you say so, Toya, then I won't. Toya, if you're not under her control, then what are you doing here? Why don't you try to escape? Answer me! Atsuma. Atsuma is so worried about you. <laughs> Atsuma hasn't given up yet. After all I said to him, really, he is a total pain in the... What? 